What's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. TGIF, ladies and gentlemen. I love me Fridays. And I only have two more days left of family holiday here in the beautiful Caribbean, U.S. Virgin Islands. Monday, I'll have some fresh new content for you guys like I do on a daily basis. I got another little throwback for you. This one is titled, How Not to Flush Your Hydronic Zone on Your Steam Boiler. <laughs> Actually, it works. It's just how not to take that filthy, nasty water and dump it into the customer shower. But <laughs> as you'll see in the video, um, he put it there and it's on him. All right. So before we do that, I'm going to go over this one more time. You have this hot water loop at the bottom of your boiler to heat the basement with a zone. Normally with steam, you know, steam goes up. Right. So whatever's above us, you can heat with steam. Whatever's below, you really can't. So people do, people, you know, uh, one cheap way of doing this is taking water from the bottom of the boiler. This is the left side, the right side. So this circulator is gonna take water from the boiler and it's going down. There's an arrow on this. So it's leaving the boiler, going through the loop, through all the basement you have, coming back, and returning over here, where you have a valve and a drain. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this, but it's very important that you do it step by step. Because if you mess up, you can introduce the water that's in this pipe into your water heater. And you don't want that. Because then you'll contaminate the water, and it's not a good thing. Okay? So, here's a hose. I'm going to attach that to the bottom of the water heater. Here's the other side, and we're going to attach that there. Nice and snug. Now, you have a hose right here, which I am going to connect. Oh, you already did it for me. All right. So, and this hose is going into the shower. Right. Now, this water is going to be filthy, by the way. Okay. So, either move it somewhere else, like into a toilet, or outside. Uh, you good? Yes. Yeah, okay. It's already messed up, so I'll, I'll clean that later. All right. Okay. I'm going to open up this first. You need a flat screwdriver. And if, when you use a hose and the, this leaks or that leaks, it's, it's not tight enough. Okay. Or the washer is missing. Okay. The hose is the same pressure as what's in the tank. Right. Let's say 50, 60 PSI. On this other side... You have a ball valve. I'm closing the ball valve. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to open up that one. So now the hose is connected to the open drain. But really nothing's flowing through there yet. And then I'm going to close this. This is to isolate this side of the pipe. Now, we're going to open this up. Better wash that hose. How's it look? Give it some time. It's coming. See, I wasn't exaggerating. <laughs> You're gonna have a mess to clean up. Oh, I warned you. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. <laughs> I warned you. Oh my god. We're gonna let that run until it's clear. Okay. All right. But all of that junk is what's fouling up your circulator. Now, hopefully, maybe you just have something stuck in your brand new circle that you put in, like in the, in the impeller or the cartridge. Hopefully you do, but we're gonna, we'll figure, we'll find out. Cause if not, then, cause I'm gonna, once we're done with this, we're gonna open up this valve and close the other one and just force some water through it. Just a little bit. And hopefully that'll free it up. But you wanna do this like twice, maybe three times during the, uh, the winter. Now, while that's still running, we're gonna close the strain. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna close it fully yet. But I wanna close, I wanna close this right now. And now I'm gonna close this drain. So now when I open up this, with this open, we're gonna force some water through the circulator. 
and watch the water level increase. Like that. And she's going through there. Okay, so I'm closing this. Okay, we're gonna close this. It's very important to close that first because you don't want any potential dirty water going into your domestic potable water. Now, we're gonna open up this valve here. And you're done. You gotta take the hose off. But let's turn on that circulator and see if she circulates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. It's an honor and privilege to share my professional experiences with you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And remember, there's no cost to subscribe. And sharing is caring. I'll catch you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe. Enjoy your Friday.